away from all the spotlight not considered the poster boy but bhuvneshwar kumar or bhuvi as he is called is quietly becoming a vital cog in india's wheel particularly in middle over cricket he entered international cricket as a swing bowler but after a couple of years lost it in quest of pace many thought his career was going down but in the last one year or so he has suddenly got a swing back and has also added a good yard of pace his ability to swing the ball both ways at a decent speed has enabled him to get wickets and a genuine one at that apart from swing bhuvi has a skiddy bouncer good yorker and has also developed a knuckle ball the slower one which deceives the batsman well especially while going for the big hits yes you can have all these variations but to be successful you should know when to use those and bhuvi has been spot on and the results are showing Bhuvi has been Warner's go-to man in the last couple of IPL seasons for Sunrisers, and in fact, he was one of the key component in SRH winning the title in 2016. But Bhuvi 2.0, the latest version, is not only about his bowling, but his batting has surprised everyone. He has always had a decent technique who can hang around with the top order batsmen, but the power game that he is possessing nowadays makes you wonder what he's having for breakfast. Whenever India has been in trouble, which has been rare in recent times, Bhuvi has stood tall and played many a crucial innings, be it knocking the ball around for ones or twos or going for the big hits. In the first ODI against New Zealand at the Vankade, Bhuvneshwar hit hit the top floor. In fact, on the top of the first tier at Vankade, and in fact, his captain Virat Kohli was awestruck. Now that India have a couple of Even fast bowling all-rounders. I am considering Bhuvneshwar as an all-rounder nowadays. We have Ardik Pandya, who is more of a batsman who can bowl. And if Bhuvi keeps continuing his scoring runs like this, we can probably have label him as a genuine fast bowler who can bat, who can bat as well, a bowling all-rounder. So imagine if you imagine a two fast bowling all-rounders, and India could do well not only in Indian cricket. but it will do well for on overseas tours as well